Welcome back to The Breakthrough. I am one of your co-hosts, Hanif Carter, a.k.a. Billionaire Carter, and... I am your other co-host, Sophie and Jesus, a.k.a. Sophina the Diva. And we are still here in the Bay Area. Bay Area! <laughs> Tell the people the booty on it. <laughs> Since our last episodes, Indy continues to top charts mm -hmm. and Indy continues to bring cultures together from all different genres. Exactly. We are talking about indie everything. And indie means independent. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, I can Well, I mean, we already know that. <laughs> As y'all know, we know, but I just had to reiterate that so y'all really, really know. Okay? So, what's trending in indie now? Well, right now, there's a lot trending. I mean, which genre do you really want? But we're going to talk a little bit about social media, okay? So what's trending in social media is the indie form. And social media is really giving indies a big platform to showcase their stuff without compromising who they are. Yes, social media is definitely monetizing a lot of things. And even, you know, it's, it's helping a lot of gamers as well, you know? Exactly. Get out there. People are watching, you know, hours and hours of YouTube content of people just playing games. Do, do you watch it too? Um, well, my son, yeah. Oh, yeah. so he's a gamer? Yeah, he's a gamer. Yeah. Oh, we got gamers in the house. He's about to be an indie gamer. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and we're talking about every aspect of the indie world, okay? Yeah. And in this episode, we're talking about comedians. Big part of the indie world. Comedians have been indie for a long time because it is yourself. It's your own person. You got to go out to shows. You got to go out to bars and True. a whole bunch of places. So it's really yourself. And you know what they say. If you make it as a comedian, you can make it in anything. Oh, that is so true. I give comedians big, big props for many reasons. I have some friends that are comedians, and then me myself, I did stand up one time. I was, told I had to do it. It was like, guys, I did good. Okay, I did good, but that is a lot of pressure because comedians, I mean, if you bomb, it could be very, very discouraging True. and you might not want to get back out there. But if you do awesome, I mean, who doesn't like making people laugh? You're right, you're right. You know, my my uncle, you know, R.I.P. Uh, Ricky Harris, he was mm -hmm. a, a great comedian and uh, he made it at a time where it was very tough, you know, and mm -hmm. his persistence and, and drive, you know, throughout that, you know, being independent, you know, it, it, it got him to where he, you know, he was at today in the game, you know. Yeah, the way. that's so true. That is so true. I know some people say like, oh, when they bomb, if a comedian bombs, which is always tragic. A lot of people say, oh, okay, you know what? I'm I'm done. Like their 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 career is over. But that's not true. Everybody has to have their ups and downs, especially comedians. True. And I'm pretty sure if we go interview any comedian or talk to any comedian, they're gonna say, oh yeah, I've bombed, but, but then I got right back out there. That's exactly why I said if you can make it as a comedian, you can make it anyway. Exactly, because it's always about, being a comedian is about really proving yourself constantly, day in and day out. It's not just about being funny. Exactly, it's, it's a lot having to do with your timing and the way you deliver your material as well. Yes, exactly, like for instance, I could say a joke that, or a story that I think is hilarious, or you might think it's hilarious, or my mama might think it's hilarious, but they're thinking it's funny, and I go on stage and I do my little story spiel and no one laughs and it's bomb. <laughs> And that's where you lose your career. Your career is over. <laughs> no, <that>. no, no. <laughs> okay, your career is not over, okay? I'm pretty sure we could ask any comedian out there, and they'll tell us that they have bombed. And is their career over? No, it's not. They continue. You got to go through the ups True. and the downs. You know, it's, True. it's, it's, it's all about yeah, that, it's, the journey. It's definitely, you know, I've, I've been a part of a crowd like that that is, you know, booed. And, you know, oh, it's, it's no. very, it's very... Same. You know, I know it's hurtful for the comedian, but even being in the crowd scene, it's like, dang, it it's is. like, man, my boy out there, he's he's doing it, or boy or woman, you know, or man, you know, whichever is out there doing, they spill it, you know, to get laughed at. But you yeah. know, we gotta have failures. We have failures in this we in do. this indie realm. So yeah. the failures make the make the you know the 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 wins. You know, for sure. <laughs> you make the wins. Yes. Make the wins I know. agree. I I did want to do a little side piece though. You know, if you are in the crowd and someone's doing something bad, like do not boo them. That is not nice. Okay, I've d done gymnastics. Uh -huh. and I got booed mm -hmm. at a competition and I didn't even do anything. It's not like I fell or anything and oh. they were booing me because I was the opponent. It's not right. It's not right. Give positivity to people. True. Not everybody's perfect. True, but then you also have to have thick skin. I mean, that too. Make sure you guys and gals are out there having respect for these indie artists when you're out there yeah. seeing them perform. Have some respect for the indie artists. Okay, so we've chat a little bit about comedy. Who are the up-and-coming indie artists in the comedy field or just comedians in general that we want to talk about? 
Well, some of these comedians are not well known, like the Kevin Hart's and the Tiffany Haddish's, yeah. and, you know, and, and things like that. But my uncle used to, you know, uh, I used to be around this cat named uh, Aaron Edwards Hall. Aaron. Dude is a he's a he's a clean comedian. Okay. Delivers the material very well. He's out right now. Yeah. Uh huh. Definitely. Where, where is he at? You don't have to. You in L. A. No, yeah. like what city? Out in the Bay. Well, I don't think he's in the Bay. You know, but we in the Bay. We in the Bay. He everywhere though. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna check him out. But another person that we have that's up and coming uh -huh. is Sonia Dennis. She is 38, and she is literally on the charts for the people to watch out for oh. in the up and coming. So we gotta check out her out. Us two, you two yes, out there, Sonia Dennis. Out. Yeah, she's we 38. You, she's from New York, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, she yes, is. Definitely. Which I need to go to New York, so we will. <laughs> why not make a trip? Breakthrough is gonna be out there too. Hey. <laughs> we gonna go yeah. everywhere. To be continued for sure. Definitely. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Well, I would definitely be going to go check her out for yes. sure, for sure. And definitely. you guys should too. Definitely. Okay. Look at we got a viewer question. Oh, thank y'all. Oh, okay, this is a good one. Since okay. we're talking about comedians mm -hmm. and we talked about Ricky Harris. Okay, okay here, here's the question. Ready? What movie did Ricky Harris appear in with Chris Brown? Oh, I don't Chris know this Brown. one. Oh, you what? know? No, I don't. This Christmas. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Oh, this Christmas. no way. Yes. It, was a great, it was a great movie. That is. It was great. It was great. It was, it, it was uplifting. It was a, a great family spiritual moment. You know, had had a great plot. It was amazing. I know. need to go back and look at that, especially since, you know, Christmas is approaching. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know? The holidays. Check that movie out. You know, get in your feels. Yes. Go check that out. <laughs> you know, because he definitely was an independent artist. You know, yep. and we're independent artists, so go support another independent artist. All right, guys, that is the end of this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to continue to tune in. I am your co-host, Sophina the Diva. And I am Hanif Carter, a.k.a. Billionaire Carter. Make sure, until next time, Breakthrough. Breakthrough.